Happy New Year, everyone. It is your Black Knight, and I finally found a group of people doing some racing in the snow. They, they finally had the snow, I guess, this week. It was an oversight last week. And so I thought, hey, what a better way to have a New Year's Day racing video than let's do some stuff in the snow. Customs are on. We're doing supers. What would be a good, grippy super to do this with? I'm gonna go with the Krieger. I mean, I'm not. I'm not sticking with the Christmas theme stuff for this one. We did that video already. Krieger should be a good all-rounder for driving in the snow. Ladies and gentlemen, the Pointer Sisters. Okay, a lot of people thinking the same way, at least one person thinking the same way. An M respect there, that might be a little bit of a challenge. And everybody's on my case. Okay, two laps. Whoa, that was an interesting over the top overtake. With a lag turbo to the lead. He's flying! Okay, this, this has interesting written all over, doesn't it? It really, really can't be. No, look at everybody just bouncing all over the place. Evans to Murgatory. Did he go through that building? Is this my internet connection? I mean, I know I paid for my internet connection, so it's not like they should be throttling me. The traffic uh, I was I was in perfect condition there, except I was airborne going into traffic. Okay, I don't think I touched anyone there, at least not on my screen I didn't. First is way out ahead, not having been in any of that mess. Lap two or two, okay. Can we keep ahead of, of the craziness and the lag and the... Use our brakes. Right car for this. I mean, the, the Krieger is pretty much never the wrong car. Never. You can always make it work. Maybe you have something that's absolutely nothing but straightaways and you're up against some devastates or something like that. And even then, probably slip is on. Traffic is just being lovely. Whoa, a little snow issue there. That's got to cost me. That's cost me big time. That's right, it's that car blocking the only hole. You're trying to bounce around and get by. Who the hell leaves traffic on? I mean, honestly. Thank you! That helped. That didn't. But it hurt you more than me. It's a demo derby. I mean, come on. We just launched that pedestrian. He's going to take third. After wrecking me out. Yeah, if it wasn't for traffic, we would have done so much better there. Wow, an 811. That's a, that's a bold choice. I don't think I don't think he's making it. I really don't. 
You fin he's trying though. He was just forging ahead. Finished fourth. It was a close fourth. Having been completely torpedoed by third. I think I had the pace, I just didn't have the luck. Don't look at that 124, there was luck involved with that too. The evil traffic. Mudslide. Grapeseed circuits, probably. That would be my pick. I don't think he counted for anything. He was just going top left for the top left business of it. Try to get more people. We got some bumpy McBumpmeisters going on, and we got snow, so it's all going to be a little bit random. Don't look at that as a predictor for the new year, because if there's one thing I think we can easily say, there's no there's no real predictors you got going on here for the new year. It's just going to be what it is. Was it with Bruffy? Didn't they do something like that? There was like some race, like first race of the new year, however it went. That was your predictor for... So, motorcycles, uh, okay. But at least we can, hopefully this time, we can get to the... Uh, Where is the Christmas bike? Not because it's the Christmas bike, but because I need traction. Need a little traction. I need a little bit of traction in the snow. Not anticipating winning a lot of these. I, you know, I, this is one of those things where I've got to do more land races because I'm really more of a stunt race kind of guy. But they don't put snow on stunt races, so here we are. Got to take advantage of the snow while you have it, right? Huh. I case on an evening on the Thursday before New Year's weekend, so trying to get ahead of things here. I like these guys. Why so serious? I have no idea what the layout of this track is. I know I've done it before. Hunker down. Keep putting traffic on. What happened there? Lost connection to the server? Okay, I'm not the only one. Ah, uh, all these little bursts of lag. I, I really think this is some kind of internet thing going on. I'm not sure what. Traffic. Over. Ugh. That's one way to get a quick reset. The traffic is. Wow, I just got killed there. He's rammed me into the thing. I don't know that we can return the favor. I'm not even sure who did it. I got run over after. This is. We're not last, but we're working on it. Somebody completely missed a checkpoint. It's just constantly these 90 degree turns. But they just consider consideratingly wait for me here. Wow. I think some of these things I'm used to surviving. Working our way back up and then back down and then back up and then back down. Is there anybody, uh... Oh, come now! I, I cleared that! He just, it's like he turbo-boosted into me. The 
what did I even hit? Oh, come on now. How many times have I died here? Somehow maintain six. I don't even know how. The other two guys gave up. Just sitting there. No. That it that first internet grab there, like where the oh we've lost connected to servers. Well, that's just great. I guess maybe everybody's on on break now and. They're, Christmas break time, and they're, yeah, hey, I think I'll relax this evening with some racing, or grinding hangar work, or who knows. They, they tripled the value on that permanently, and now it's doubled on top of that, so. I don't know why I like that track. It was terrible. I have no idea who killed me. Of these, let's go Grapeseed Circuit. If it's not motorcycles, the traffic won't be that bad. Although it could be that bad. At least it won't keep killing me instantly. Killing me instantly all the time. Flying off motorcycles. Killing me softly. Guess it's better that you get killed than if you fall off and have to walk back for the bike. That takes longer, so. Think we're gonna actually do this or is this gonna dump me right to the street? Okay, standards, class, supers. I want to do supers again. Customs are now off. Well then, we'll see what's available. Traffic's also off, thank God. Three laps, bit of a long race. What do we have available? Not that, not that. Autark is not a bad choice. But we can still get a Krieger. And get it in bright red. You can get in sprunk green too, but let's go with this. He's there. We're not going to have quite as much handling as we would have previously, but we should do well enough. How are we out front again? We're going to get completely annihilated here. Okay, we got the boost. We've also got the catch up. Trying to keep the wheels touching the ground there so we don't lose control. That's a tough, tough transition though. I get bounced out. I just hit the, the curb the wrong way and get bounced out all the time on this one. I completely shoved off the line there. Wrecked out. Like, don't beep at me because I've got catch up and you know you don't. I'm flat out there when he rear ends me. Try to cut the corner too sharp there. Tesseract, not a lot to go there. It's it's a good car, not a great car. I was thinking it was, I, for a minute there, my mind snapped into uh, Sonora Freeway mode. He's got the slip on me. He'll probably hit me. They all seem to. It's a three lap race. Okay, he lost it on the turn, trying to keep up with me because I can already handle him. I think this out handles the Tesseract pretty handily. Tesseract's big strength is if you got ahead, 
ketchup doesn't work on it. I thought, it was, I thought it was that it's a pretty good car, just not, not this. I don't know how good it is stock. Right, let's just put down some good laps here. A lot more brakes because of the snow. We just went around somebody. Oh dear. And then they're going to go around us. I was so surprised to have gone around somebody that I lost in the turn. Surprised by my own good fortune. I say fortune because I'm pretty sure it was just luck. Someone just lost it. I just lost it. Okay, first place. Can we reel them in in the next lap? Have we got another lap? First place is almost certainly the guy who wrecked me out. I can hope it's the guy behind me, but then again, that means he might wreck me out again. That's what he does. That turn catches me out so off, I went really conservative there. This one too. This one you think it'd be kind of a fast sweeper, but it's not. You end up in the bushes more often than not with that. Straighten the curves as much as we can here. Like a Duke boy, brakes. Normally I could take that, that flat out, but the snow, no. Some of these sections are very similar to Sonora Freeway, so... Alright, we weren't able to pull it off, the, the, you know, the, the, the catching up to first place and all that, but... We did get second! We solidified second pretty well there, so I think we're pulling some good laps. Did we get a Bruffy Special? I don't know. First place seems to be really hauling. But not a bad race in the snow. It was fun in the snow. Fast car, not a great handler. So that's kind of a bold choice. Great top speed, but no, it looks cool. Always, oh no, don't give up. <laughs> don't give up. You still have friends. Oh, you reset. You finished second. Not really about the money. Although these are the increased payouts that they've permanently done here. I don't think that Krieger was the one that wrecked me. I think there was like a gold car something that wrecked me, wasn't it? The Emerus behind. Okay, so the, the em hey, I did get a Bruffy special. So the Emerus behind. Um, I got ahead of the guy who wrecked me. So that there's a, there's a moral victory there. Let's see what are we doing next. Ooh, I have to pick Sonora Freeway. Come on, somebody else back me up here. Crossing paths is terrible. Sonora Freeway is fun. It's got a nice flow. So naturally we'll pick the crappy raceway. As I recall, this is just uh, another murder and mayhem troll track. But I mean, is that 
I think, was I doing that one earlier? Where it kept crashing? Is that the one I was kept crashing on? Is that the right reason the guy picked it? Customs are on this time, but Ketchup is off and Slipstream is on. That's an interesting mix. Four laps, sports cars. Five laps? What's the... Okay, well, it is a shorter track. He's still going for like an eight-minute run here. I see no other car. Well, let's see. For this one, let's take Mumblebee. Normally, I'd say take the goat. It'll be bouncing all over the place, though, here. I want something with traction. We're not going to get the, the top end on a lot of this stuff. Customs are still on. It is sports. Yeah, let's let's take Bumblebee. Launching session someday. Come on, get to me, 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 get to me. No, I'm not even doing anything symbolic to Christmas here. Talk to me, Bumblebee. Hey! That's a good look. There we go. Wow, that's that's a lot of races won. That's like... What are these? Wow, these guys are like all have 2,000 wins to them. Do they know each other? I mean, I got a lot of experience, but not like close to... Over 2,000 wins each. Okay, well, let's see how this works out. Twilight, I don't know if it's morning or night. Probably night. At least one other person's thinking along the same lines. Didn't get a turbo. South Beloved, which is one of the guys with 2,000 wins, is in the same car. This is getting really nasty. Vincent, the other guy who's got all the wins, he's also in a... So I've picked the same car as the guys who have all the wins. So at least we, we, we probably made some good decisions there. But can I keep up with them? Oh, someone took somebody else out. I'll let him go back with that pass. If I can take third against behind the, the guys with thousands of wins. I'm okay. Because we got other people closing on us. Let's just see how this goes. Try to focus on the track. I don't know the track very well. I thought there was more of a turn coming up there. Okay, that goat will take off down the straightaways. He, he braked pretty well there, so that was pretty good. What was that? What kind of bump and jump run was that? Bristol best in the snow? Is that even possible? Okay, we're getting some lag here. They might be pushing theirs a little bit harder. I'm hitting the brakes a little bit more. He's hitting the ball a little bit more. But hey, listen, they're still ahead of me, so I can't really... First and second, or who we expected first and second to be, basically. We'll see how this all goes. That's a lot. That's just a lot of experience racing. And even so, we're right there. It's a crisscross moment here. All right. Wide open. Keep it wide open. Turn coming up. Brakes. I took that a little tighter than he did. He took carried more speed. Carried a little too much speed there. I don't seem to have a horn. Drifted that a little bit.
It's going to be 1, 2, 3 Issy Sports, I think. Unless I really screw up, which is possible. Someone's on my tail. Not on my tail anymore. But I'm also not on that guy's tail. He's really pulling away there. He, he made through those turns, obviously, more efficiently. This is the section where the GTOs will catch up. I really kind of thought that would fall down. Four or five. This is a long race. Okay, I'm kind of in no man's land. Okay, so there, there's people back at crisscrossing us now. Am I lapping somebody? Am I lapping multiple people? All right, that will that will hurt my progression. Oh, back marker. Oh, there you go. Ooh. So I got completely wiped by temple back markers. One very deliberately. He's not a back marker. He's, that was for position. He saw, watched me get wiped out and took advantage of it. I'm not worried about him pulling away on the straights. If I could get some more curves in here, I think I can close on him. He may have learned the course by now, might not screw up, but here's the last lap. All right. Okay, some karma in there. It's the sport on your tush. Feel the pressure. Oh, that was really close. Got the pass done. Oh, these back markers, though. Uh. Fourth, between third and fourth, this is going to be close. Can I get into your slip here? And carry some wild speed. Brakes. Too much speed. Oh, he's gonna take. He's gonna take there. The slip took me through. I, I was hard on the brakes. It would not stop. Yeah, that was a GG. Except for the back markers. That one back marker hadn't deliberately put me in the wall. Then we would have had a podium. Deliberate that guy. Takes the wrong car. Probably a stock car. No idea what's going on. Just decides just to ram people into the walls because, you know, what? You're, just, you can protect your last place position. Just screw up the race. Fran Paglieso. Is someone using their real last name or does that mean something in Italian? I don't even know. Make sure we're recording, and we are. That's good. Don't know if he was stunting at that point, or just literally wrecked out and trying to keep going. Does he even know about the DNF timer?
Christmas fighter. Okay, that's an interesting thing. 107. Pankro Jones is now online. Okay, we're going to have to send Pankro an invite. I'm always going to throw it down here. All right, we might get it. If we do, we got to very quickly invite Pankro Jones. Pro Jones. Invite all friends. Invite all friends. Come on, let me do it. If we get in. Why can't I invite? The job is now full. There's only eight people on Sonora Freeway allowed? Muscle! Okay. Uh, let's see. Customs are on. I am absolutely taking my Sprunk mobile here. Oh, and they leave and then we launch. I can't get Pankrow in. Dad, gum it. Well, at least I got my beloved Sonora Freeway, so that's good. Absolutely, STX me all the way. Matches my outfit. There's not like even a question. That's a very interesting kind of kind of no ear kind of look. Christmassy. Let's go. Actually, New Yearsy. Ready for New York. Cleek's not a bad choice. The SDX is, should be the, the thing to do here, though. What was that? Someone, he actually took the Weevil. You gotta be kidding me. Multiple people took the Weevil. Okay. Well, this is an interesting you know, turn of phrase here. Cause I can slip a weevil. Brakes. Brakes, brakes, go, go, go. Weevil is in the way. There goes a the weevil. Buffalo STX has a lot of handling. It's got a lot of grip, so that's, that's a good choice for this. Especially in the snow. And it's got a lot of top end. It's really just good. Wow, I braked really early there and it still caught me out. Really early. For this car. Go around. Through the bushes and out. Um, I don't think we can get first. I think we got second sewn up though. Unless, unless something else weird happens here. Now, Southwick, that's another one of the guys with 2,000 wins. Another second place. We were right behind, but no. no sorry. Denied. A Weevil will do normally pretty well on that track because it's got a lot of straights, but it does have its curves. Very something something. View. I like the Weevil. I just don't see a racing use for it for the most part. Even if it were dry, I'd still take the Buffalo SDX. You gotta turn. Didn't find the SDX. Well. That's really a, his his SDX is I did make a, mis a couple of mistakes though. In the snow. Yeah, give me some bullets, why not? So 
someone wants a rematch, I'll go with that. I will throw my weight behind a rematch on Sonora Freeway. And we'll try and get Pankrow Jones in on this. This would be a great way to start the year with Pankrow Jones. Great way to start the year with Pankrow Jones. Well, I mean, or finish the year off, because I'm still, again, 22 while I'm racing. But, you know, yeah. Odds of me racing on New Year's Day and then uploading it New Year's Day. No, not really good. Frontier 815 on call. Come on. Pankro Jones, come on. You gotta get Pankro, Pankro Jones, please join. There's one more slot for Pankro Jones. Or is there? Or is that full? Oh, I think we're screwed, yeah. Well, at least when he watches this, he'll, he'll know I was trying. I was rooting for him to get in and... You know I need you. Oh, yeah. Coupes! Oh, coupes. Now what's the best thing? What's the... The Previon... What's the newest, greatest thing? Previon is probably the best thing I own. That's allowable. Custom Previon, go. There's a new one, though, isn't there? Is there a new coupe? Those are some bold choices, but... Yeah, that one's a new one. Yeah, I forget what the heck it is. Or is that just a Previon done differently? Come on, Slam Daddy Previon. Let's show these people. Sonora Freeway. I got, I've got catch up on me, I think. Brakes. He took me out a little bit because we survived. I don't know, the Sentinel has a really high top end, but you know. I know this is a superior overall. Let's see if, you know, maybe, again, again, maybe he's running really high frames per second there. I don't know. We've seen that issue, you know, with my buddy, Pankro. He will break a little earlier here. Hit a bush, but the bushes are really disturbing the cars anymore. We're not far back. Can we reel it in? It's a short run. Oh man, we're closing. Can we hold off third? That's another really question. I don't know that there's not enough track. I think a longer track, maybe I would be able to pull them in with this, but. Just keep pulling down seconds here. We're not la we're not second by much. What did he have? Is that Sentinel? You know, I actually don't know what the highest top speed for coupe is. It never comes up. It might be a Windsor drop, but it might be a matter that this doesn't have the handling. Doesn't feel like it's the highest top end. I think he's gonna finish. He finished second. No Burphy special on the point to point. No Burphy special on the point to point. Vincent, the winner again. 
Zion Cabrio. Zion won that. Now, Zion is, of course, an old favorite. I didn't think it had a higher top end than a Previan, though. I didn't think it was like... I think the Previan pretty much over, you know, outdid it. And it's hard to tell just in the snow, a white Zion versus a white Sentinel. They're going to look the line. Peer to peer. Well, I'll throw my weight behind peer to peer before we do crossing paths again. Peer to peer might be worse, but I don't want to, I don't want to experience crossing paths again. I think we're pretty soon I'm gonna hop off here and try and catch up with Pink Road Jones. There might not be anything in the video of that, but I'm just saying. What time is it? It's almost ten o'clock. Wow, I've been on this a long time. This is a much longer video than I thought. Point to point. Wow, it's like a lap of the lap of the place. Sports. Now, now it's time for the goat. And South Beloved is the host now. Customs are on. Ketchup is off. Slipstream is on. I gotta goat this. It's launched too fast for me to invite. But at least it's in Christmassy colors. I've gone before, and if you want more, if you want more, more, more. South Beloved. Frontier, Vincent, Yeri. All right, let's try and do something here. Don't know the track, but it looks pretty smooth. Someone took a handler. That makes sense. I'm experimenting a little bit. Okay, I had a lift there because he's just crashing through the traffic. Oh, I'm barely, I'm barely touching the gas. Whoa, this is bouncy. This was a mistake. Yeah, this is a mistake. It's way bouncy in the city. Which should give me speed, don't get me wrong. My, my wheels were not touching. You can't, it's very hard to do anything when your wheels are not touching the ground. This doesn't look that windy when I was looking at the map. I guess I was wrong. I really couldn't do anything there. Helped him out! This is called Survive This Race. And then call it a, a Happy New Year. I hope you're all having a Happy New Year. I hope whatever wonderful kind of celebrations you're having. I'll probably drop this right at midnight. So, Happy New Year is what you really are going to get when this drops. See, now this is more, I figured I'd have some more smooth stuff. Get the turn coming up here. Where the speed would help me. And look here, here once again. 
Oh, that is like old school bouncy. That's... Wow! That's butts up in the air bouncy. Someone's passing me. <laughs> I went to avoid the guy flying through the air. Yeah, all of us probably in the GTOs were just flying along and then boing. Which is at least visually interesting, you know? Any more snow races, I'll take uh, Bumblebee, but... Especially in the streets, man. It's a GG for some, a nightmare for others. Oh my goodness! Just give me the checkpoint! How am I not last? If someone is having a worse time than me or has given up. These goats, dude, they're suffering. Are we more than 30 seconds back? I don't think so. This flat to the end. He's got the slip on me. Gives me the boost forward. Ooh, I don't think we went off. I think we just, just exploded. We finished fourth. That was way bouncy. Good way to end it, though. I think launching ourselves into the ocean or just crashing like... GG, guys. Gotta go. Happy New Year. Like... GG, bro. GG to you too, bro. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, Happy New Year. Truly, I hope you have a blessed and wonderful New Year for 2023 and all the years after that. And of course, as always, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. Okay, let me explain the whole Pointer Sisters thing because there's a small group of people who might get that joke and I've talked to two of them who were there and this didn't ring a bell even a little bit so maybe this is all in my head. You know, that, that, that's one of those Mandela effect kind of things but I can explain to you the story as I remember it. It will be entertaining, I hope, and therefore you know, it'll justify you be just throwing the Pointer Sisters in here over and over again and uh, but we'll, we'll, just, we'll just get to the story. Back at the turn of the century, a little before the turn of the century, so far back that I was still young and pretty, my then girlfriend, now wife, and I went to a New Year's Eve party. And several of our friends were there. It was at a friend's house. And we had a mutual friend who was there who was dating two girls at the time, one from up around the Scranton area, one from down in Philadelphia. The friend of ours who was having the party did not know this. And he was friends with both girls. And invited both girls. Can you see the quandary this put our mutual friend in? Because both of his girlfriends are there. They don't know about each other. And both are expecting to spend the evening with him as they, after they leave this party. Now, our friend was a shrewd fellow. There's no question about it. And he knew exactly how to get out of the situation. And the way to get out of the situation was drink enough Goldschlager that probably come spring had my friend sifted through his yard and collected the gold. He could have uh, probably paid off the party. This had some important effects on our friend. The first effect is that when we were playing whatever Trivial Pursuit game we were playing, it wasn't actually Trivial Pursuit, it was something else. Every single question that came up that wasn't his he knew it. I know this one. I know. Well, why can't I get this question? I know this answer. His questions, not a single one. Not a single. Didn't get anything. 
The second important effect that this had on him is that as we were watching Dick Clark's you know, New Year's Rockin' Eve or whatever they called it back then, might have just been Dick Clark's New Year's Eve. It was a simpler time back then. You know, in some ways a better time. It's, I, I do reminisce. But at any rate, any group that came on, any musical group that came on, whether it was ZZ Top or the Mormon Tabernacle Choir, he thought was the Pointer Sisters. At least that's the way I remember it. If anybody remembers it differently, well, this is these are my memories I'm working with, and then I'm the guy editing the video. So that's how that's happened. So that's why on my New Year's video, I'm throwing the Pointer Sisters in periodically, just in honor of that memory. The third effect that this Goldschlager had on him is that he did not go home with either of the girls. He uh, he slept the night at my buddy's house because he was just completely passed out. So, as you can see, they they were annoyed, but not nearly as annoyed as they would have been had they discovered each other, or if he had been forced to make a choice. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide. By the way, in the end result, years later, he ended up with someone else completely different, and they lived a nice, happily ever after together. It, it's gone well. And for just a little more bonus material, I mentioned at the beginning of this uh, video that I'd finally, finally gotten into a race. Uh, now you can see uh, some of my previous attempts at getting into a race, because some of this was funny, but... It, it wasn't necessarily compelling enough to bring you into the video, but you know, certainly as bonus material, yeah, it works. Happy New Year! We have to, we absolutely have to do the custom Martin. First opportunity. Hey, you like the new outfit? There's a lot of stuff they gave out today. I should have changed the glasses. I should have put some New Year's glasses on, but we'll, we'll get there. I think I have some of those. I think they gave those out. I think I've got the better of him on this, but... First time ever racing. I didn't get the boost. The Ardent. He's got the slip, I've got the catch up. We've both got the snow. He's got the, the bumpies. What? I think that got both of us there. So the servers are barfing. That's interesting. Stolly, he left. Well, let's enjoy the cruise in the snow. He may not have chosen to leave. He may have crashed out. I may yet crash out. Also give me a chance to change my glasses, I guess. Maybe. Thought I grabbed a bunch of the new stuff, but then I was like, oh yeah, they've got some New Year's glasses too, I think. Just for the sheer dang silliness of it all. Not New Year's Day yet as I'm playing this, but it'll be New Year's Day as you're watching this. Happy New Year, everybody. Hopefully we're looking at a fresh and wonderful new day here. Do we really want to do this whole thing? And no, let's let's not do another solo run here. Let's do the time warp again. <laughs> See, we got stuffs.
That's nice. Gold, New Year's glasses, silver, rainbow, yellow holly beer hat. We get the yellow holly beer hat, too. To change this up here. I, I don't know about the yellow holly beer hat as opposed to the, the green ring. Let's go with the green goes with the sprunk. Let's see, gold or silver. And yeah, the gold kind of picks up from the reindeer. So there we go. This will this will just set people off as they get into lobbies. Strange there's no timer on this. I'm gonna bet there's not a lot, okay, let's just do it. Before we, we lose champagne posty. How come we're both on the same screen? Wait, where's my uh, my Christmas bike? I'm not seeing a lot here. All right, I'm not getting. I've got a limited selection of bikes here. One, let me pick the Shitara, which is done up for Christmas. It's a rally. Yeah, I, I didn't think I selected a rally. Did I select a rally? Which, there's reasons you could do want to do that. You know, this is... That's why the bikes weren't selectable. If it, was a, if it, was a, it had to be a bike with two people on it. Because rally. Why would it... Did I just flip around and just accidentally select something? <laughs> 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 